Hey, what's up? Dilio coming to you live in this video. Thank you so much for coming by this YouTube channel. Sorry, I've been away for a while. But uh, we're back again in the lab again. In this video, we're going to do a full walkthrough on how to make a, a funky beat mixed with sort of a G-funk type of beat. Uh, this is a full walkthrough. And uh, be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And I just want to thank you guys for coming by the channel. I know a lot of you are out there. I see you. I'm thinking about you guys. And uh, we're going to continue to bring great content for you to watch on YouTube. Something you can vibe to. Something you can learn from. And in this video, we're going to really just talk about the thinking process and the actual process. Uh, we're using the FL Studio platform. A lot of the sounds that I'll be making will be available on Chemicals Season 2. Drum sounds will come from my own personal collection and also from Splice. And um, the plugin I'm using is massive. I just know my way around it. I'm trying to finish Chemical Season 2 so that I can move on to another plugin. Um, I'm leaning towards Serum, so stay tuned for that where I'm going to start making a new Chemical Season 3 featuring Serum. So let's dive right into it. So I'm going to start up a little. I got a little bass sign I already made, a little bass. Got a little simple melody. And first, I want to do is kind of tap that tempo. And just kind of catch a vibe. And and the thing is, it's with this beat, I want it sparse, but I want texture. And what I mean by texture is just noises and stuff going on in the background. That seems to be the style that I'm hearing. Um, and, you know, it's something I want to experiment. So I'm going to also create the beat, but then also focus on textures in the background to kind of help kind of create a greediness sound to it. So stay tuned for that. So let's see what I got here. We're just going to create a little pattern right there to see if I can count in. Got the quantize going. So make sure it's looping properly. Hit the record off. That sounds like it's on beat. And I'm just doing, it's, it's almost like a basic hip hop beat. So we got kind of like this funky bass sound, really simple. Uh, I think with G-Funk and funk music, I think that the simpler sounds, the better. So I'm just going to add those kick drums. You know, and, and what I'm going to do now is kind of grab some textures. Um, some background noise, some people talking, just vinyl and i want that vinyl and noise to kind of pump to the kick so that goes into the side chain so you're actually going to see our side chain will kind of make the sounds kind of pump in and out kind of creating that more lo-fi gritty feel so let's see what i got here i got some uh so i'm just i'm just grabbing noise and i'm just going to drag it in and let's hear our sounds and then i'm just gonna just kind of play with it and experiment uh, with this. The, the funny thing is, is that that noise has kind of a, and also a quick trick is I'm going to actually start building channels. I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that. And I want to make that kind of, kind of pump a little bit. So let's just drop Kickstarter in. So Kickstarter is... That's magic right there. I wasn't expecting to... that, But I'm going to add more background noise. And I'm just going to make a cut in now. So one, two, three, four. And I'm gonna make it cut off again. And in order to make those samples cut off, this is a little trick I like to do. I like to trigger the sample, then make it cut off with another triggering of the sample right here. But then I turn the volume all the way down. And I'm just adding textures. And actually, if you don't create a cut off trigger point right here in like the song mode, it will basically keep playing and you might 
it might bleed into the next measures of a song where you don't want it to bleed to. So let's just experiment with that. I don't want it to stretch, I want it natural. Okay, let's add a little clap. Let's see what kind of claps I got. Let's do that clap there. And, I, you know, I'm going to experiment. Maybe there's like a water drop sound I want to add to it. And, you know, and that's what I'm saying. I'm just trying to do something different. Um, you know, a water drop kind of sound, maybe mixed with a clap. Uh, let's just hear how that sounds. I like that bell sound. We're going to add that in there. So I'm just going to add that. Okay, that clap is a good placeholder. I like that sound. So I don't want to use that clap. I'm going to use that as a placeholder. And I'm just going to create a melody. I'm going to click the little piano roll here, which actually puts the notes right there. And I'm just going to add some melody. plugins I'm just using samples I mean I mean plugins are great but I'm thinking in this day and age if you're just creating music and I'm glad I'm still recording the listener just doesn't care if you're using serum you listen doesn't care if you're using dune if and if if you're creating for music for producers which is kind of like selling cars to a car salesman you will kind of put more energy into Things that don't really matter in the end when it comes to song creation and content creation. To me, I think that content creation and music creation are becoming one, right? And I'm learning that content is is key. You know, rather as an album, as, as content, you can wait a long time. And, you know, I think that you can not sacrifice your quality of music and still be more consistent in putting out content. Little philosophy right there. Well, something a little darker. I get rid of these notes here. noise I'm gonna add more noise cuz just I'm just feeling texture so I got some vinyl and I'm just gonna let that go in there let that cut on the fourth and bring it back in like I said I'm focusing on texture and I, I just like noises you know where we're going away from typical kick drum snare and just using sounds to kind of stretch and get outside of the box on this funky track got the other noise there I'm gonna make that cut off too right here this noise and I'll make that I'll make that vinyl pump too let's add it on another channel and what I'm doing here in the numbers is that I'm just adding them to their own channel so I can add their own plugins effects. You know, at the end of the day, there are no rules. So if I want to put a Kickstarter on that and let that.
But see, I don't want I don't want to open clap sound like that in a hall. I want the sounds to sound tight. And I may actually add some more percussion in there. Let me see what a percussion sounds I got. And like a sound like that, something more organic. Um, and let's just see how that sounds. Yeah, see that right there? Ty's not perfectly on beat. Maybe even some more percussion there, you know, just doing something different. You know, just some some sounds, you know, um, because it, it, you know, it's it's um. And and what I'm doing is I'm just mixing sounds together, and I'm just making sure they cut off. It's a little bit different of a technique, but this is the like kind of like the fastest technique, and I'm just taking some samples. Like I got this good loop here. And I'm just making sure that the timing is right. Making sure that's like an eight bar loop. You know, cause I want that kind of like a noise. Let's pick that, clean it out. Okay, and, and I might add a hat in there, but if I find another sound that's better hat than that. I may throw that in there, but just on the quarter notes. Turn that noise back in the ground. I'll do is I'll take one of my percussion sounds from my own personal and I'll add that in on the snare sounds and I will offset it to kind of give it that that uh, that delayed kind of offbeat sound by adding shift to the notes so now we got kind of a, a smosh smoshy smushy but with a click so I made another sound so let me try to affect that a little bit. And I'm playing those by hand. This is inverted C minor. Let's see how that sounds. add that in there make sure it's looping two three four and but I want to add a little but I want them to kind of wop a little bit so let's play with that filter Let's add a little flavor to it. Just a little bit more flavor to it. Add in some unison, some legato trigger.
Okay, that sounds good. So let's add those bells back in. Let me see if I still got those bells. I totally forgot about them. Maybe we'll find a little snare sound. You know, maybe add a little snare on the on the end part there. Let's hear that sound. But this is more me kind of going in my own direction. Maybe add a little 808 because even though it is low end on this sound, and you notice I'm not really using a lot of plugins. I think that I think you don't really have to because there's so many samples out there now. You don't really have to worry about the plugins because I mean, what we're using plugins for? We're using plugins for presets. And unless you're trying to design every single last sound on your own, and I get it, I've been there, I've wanted to do that myself. But, you know, I mean, who cares? I mean, you, I mean, you can care about that if you want, you know. But, but at the end of the day, are you making music just so you can uh, impress other producers or are you making music to impress your fans? And I'm, I'm pretty confident, especially when I've talked to my fans about making music and the ones who listen to my music, they're not asking me which 808 or which plugin you used. I don't believe it diminishes your craft if you apply whatever technique that you use. It doesn't matter. Okay. I see the recording still running. That's good. Let's keep going. I'm gonna add a little note there, just kinda of add a little 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 big 808 sound in there. I like the 808 coming back in there. And I'm just using simple plugins. You don't really need a lot, I think. I like this vibe though. So this is kind of like some new G-Funk. You know, so, you know, you can try out soul vocals, you know, maybe I want like a, mm, you know, like a soul vocal kind of thing. Um, you know, I mean, this beats basically kind of, I feel like it's pretty much there. Uh, and I didn't predict the direction of this beat. Uh, I just wanted to make something funky, you know, and just kind of really, just kind of really just vibe with it. And I think that's part of it. And, you know, I mean... And, and the cool thing is, is that you can... Let's get funky. That's funky. You know, you can really... I mean, you can experiment with different sounds, you know? I like that hat, though. And I'm going to do some kind of off-timing uh, with the hi-hats by doing kind of the Jay Dilla offbeat thing there. And... It's it's on here. So I'm going to hit the shift and I'm going to offset every and note. 
and uh I'm just messing with that shift in the timing. But I don't want that clap. This, not that clap, but the other one. Because I don't want the reverb. I don't want that reverb in there. I want that. I could cut out. But, you know, I just, I'm not feeling that clap. So let me see if I can find like a, you know, just a lo-fi. I like that. And you just mix different sounds in there. See, I'm combined, I'm just throwing in more and more sounds. Where's that clap? I keep letting it play. That's not it. Gotta find out of the clap. I don't want that in there. I'm gonna cut the volume on that just to make sure I don't accidentally leave it in. And we can make looser claps, let's drag in another clap. But if you kind of see the trend is I'm just layering sounds on top of each other. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna, I'm just gonna add some offset to that and just kind of make those claps sound more human. As a matter of fact, I can do that and do one of those tricks right there. I'm gonna add some more sounds and just like just layer it and that's basically what I'm doing I'm just layering more and more sounds but hopefully you can start to see kind of like the structure of what I'm doing and I'm just sitting right that's a long why not Let me hear how that's sounding against everything. Nah, see. And sometimes loops don't fit. Like, I'm not feeling how that fits. Yeah, I'm not even feeling that. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'm not even feeling that. Right? Let's bring it all together, because I think this beat's pretty much done. And I think that, I think that it wouldn't be uh, complete without a certain preset sound, so I'm gonna go to my chemical sound. And I got kind of like a funky, a G funk you lead. We're gonna add a little bit more G-Funk flavor to this and I think this beat is done for now. Let's 
just add that in there. Let's put that in there. But that's not something you want to quantize. So I'm going to take the quantization off. Set that to none. And make sure that this is set to none. And what this do, this kind of, because what happens is if I'm trying to do a little stuff like that, it'll quantize it and it'll take away from the flavor of the timing. Um, you know, especially dealing with the latency issues going between your hardware, your MIDI controller, and your ear. So let's add that and I think the speed will be done. So that's pretty much it. Uh, that's how you kind of make a funky beat. That was a full walkthrough of how I made the beat. Um, and uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If there's some type of content you'd like to see, leave that in the comments. I'd like to definitely invite you to check out uh, my music. A lot of my new music library and previous music library is now available on all music streaming platforms. Uh, some of the presets that I have used in this is on my website dealio2k.com you can look up chemicals uh season one and season two that's on there and as well as some splice samples and if you're interested in getting some splice sounds i have a link for you in the description as well if you'd like to subscribe to their service so with that being said thank you guys so much for coming through to the youtube channel as i rebuild and create more content showing you guys the process and show you some different tutorials to help you make the music that you want to make so that you can be successful in your music creation process. All right, I'm out of here. Peace out.